What's up, Dragon Slayer? Uh, what's up with it? <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about that, Jalen? We could have been calling you Dragon Slayer all year long, man. Man, that's my boy Flu's name, so I just, I just let him keep it to himself. Man. I didn't want everybody to know too much about it, but since he put it out there, yeah, that, that that's the thing. Why? 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 Why Dragon Slayer? I'm not gonna lie to you. He has a creative mind, so I mean, <laughs> personally, I, so you might have to ask him. I'm not. I'm not sure. I've heard. I've heard different things. I've heard. The one that I'm going to take, I guess, the one that sounds the best is, I guess, he's saying I'm a dragon slayer. I guess the dragons are the best like wide receivers, and I guess I'm the dragon slayer and taking them down. So that's what I'm going to go. That, that's what I heard, so I, I, I'm i going to just take that. I'm going to accept that. Well, I would say then respectfully, Floos, he should let you follow the other team's best receiver. Follow that dragon all around the field, sir. If you're slaying him. <laughs> yeah, hey, I mean, it all, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> you know, it, it was entertaining to hear all those nicknames from your coach, but what does it mean that he has one for so many of you, that there he seems to have developed a specific connection with a lot of you on that team? I mean, also, I think it's just, I mean, I'm not sure what he does on the offensive side of the ball, but I definitely feel like, First on the defense side of the ball, just having, I feel like, a personality, kind of just keeping it, keeping it loose, too, at times. So I feel like we we take a lot of, we well, of course, we take our job serious, but I think at times you can be loose, you can be free, you can have some personality. And I think that's um, just a part of it, just going into it, being able to come into the meeting rooms, and then he kind of gives us a whole spiel on who's up for a nickname, where we have to try to guess the nickname. So, I mean, he keeps it light, keeps it fun. So, I think just overall, that's just him bringing a different type of energy than he normally does when we're doing walkthroughs or practice and things like that when he's all business. He could do better than D-Walk for DeMarcus Walker. Well, I mean, that wasn't his nickname to D-Walk. We already were calling him that. Okay. So if you already got a nickname, he doesn't give you one. So, I mean, Bojack, he is Bojack already, so he he didn't get a nickname. D-Walk was already D-Walk. I mean, a lot of people kind of already have nicknames. It's more so, I think, for those who he feels like doesn't have a true nickname. Like, hey, Governor, let's go, man. <laughs> like Dino Dex. Mm -hmm. Dino Dex, Dino Dex. Uh, he just gave <laughs> he just gave Zach Pickens ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean he, he got a few. He got a few. Is he like the is he like the dorky dad? Like these feel like kind of dad jokes to me. Like what 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 what's the floose vibe here, Jalen? Be honest with us. I mean, it, it's funny you say that because I I can definitely see that it is. Yeah, no, nah, I would say so because I mean a lot of times we'll. Like just think like why that name? Like why this name? But I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of amusing. A lot. I think sometimes too we 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 laugh at him a, a lot of the times. Even certain things I say in the meeting room, we'll kind of look at each other and we'll kind of laugh about it. I mean, sometimes we laughing with him, sometimes we laughing at him. So I mean, it, it's a good combination of both. But do you guys all love him? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think just overall, I think for us is just continue to build the relationship that. I think when he like, first came in, I think it was really just all business, all business. I think just from last year to this year, just really creating that bond. And I mean, just throughout the um, off season, this past um, this past off season through camp, I think that was just our biggest thing was getting closer not to not with just the players, but also the coaches as well. So I think just getting closer with him, him getting closer with the guys, and then just the whole coaching staff is as a whole. I think we've just done a good good job gelling together, and I think we. All, all around can have open conversations. We can talk to fools. We can tell them how we feel about different things. And I think it just all starts with us uh, spending time with each other, us making a conscious effort to to build that relationship up. You know, it's been so interesting and educational to talk to you all year, the way you've talked about certain things like communicating with intention, you know, and, mm -hmm. and on, uh, honesty and all of that. But the way all of you guys talk – Tremaine Edmonds talked about the trust between everyone, how it helps you play with mm -hmm. rhythm as a defense. Um, Justin Jones talked about how special it is here. Montez Sweat has noticed it and talked about it. We sometimes struggle to figure out where, like, who gets credit for that. Is it you guys? Is it Poles putting it together? Is it the coach? Like, who gets credit for this that you guys have, this vibe? I mean, honestly, I would say all, all all levels, really. I mean, at the end of the day, we – I think we're all good men. Honestly, we're all good teammates. So, I think it starts with polls, bringing the right guys in 
and finding that. And then I think just the coaches putting it all together. And I think really that's I think that's really the best form. I think it's more so it's the player's responsibility to be a good player, be a good human, be a good person. It's Paul's job to find those guys to get them to get those best guys on his team, and then it's coach's job to make sure that everything is gelling together and is the glue in, in all of it. So, I mean, I think overall everybody has played a good good role in it because, I mean, you can bring in Joe Blow, but that doesn't mean he's going to jail in the locker room. That doesn't mean that he is able to fit in with the guys around him or that he's a, a good player or a good person. I mean, it, it, it's all about having the right pieces and bringing, bringing the right guys in, whether it's coaches or players. And even, I mean, talent, I mean, the ownership, they have to bring in the right general manager to come in and find the right coaches and the right players. We're talking to Jalen Johnson here. Uh, there was a report before the game on NFL Network that said it's looking like Fluce is going to be back next year. Would you want mm -hmm. that? Would you want that? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I would want that. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like that's. I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, like I don't expect you to say no. I guess what I'm asking you yeah, is... I mean, no, no, no. no. It, I, so, I'm just not fair what kind of question that is. No, <laughs> no, no. no, no can, we, can we word it differently? Yeah, fair, fair enough. <laughs> you, you've, you've talked about how there has not been consistency since you've mm -hmm. been here. That there has been a lot of turnover. Like, yeah. you, you know what I mean? And so there has been talk. We've talked about it plenty on the show. I have said, mm -hmm. I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, I think that there is a lot of value in having an offensive head coach so that there's continuity on that side of the ball for a quarterback. You know what I mean? So I think that there is value in that. What value would there be to you to have continuity or consistency if Coach Flus is, in fact, back next year? What would I do if he is back? I mean, I think we just really just pick up where we left off at. I mean, I think really overall, I feel like the last – I want to say about seven games. I think we've been able to play some really good, some really good football. Whether we finished it in the end, but I feel like we beat some good teams. We've been ahead in a lot of games. So I think just overall, really just continuing to build. Especially, I mean, I can only talk for the defense side of rods. I can't really speak too much as far as how the offense goes. And if it's because we have a defensive head coach or an offensive head coach would make it easier or better. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not sure on that. So I'm really can't. Can't speak on it, but I think just overall, I think we've been able to build um, good momentum this year that I think will carry into to next year. I think it's almost like a similar situation with Detroit last year. I think they didn't they didn't start off pretty good, and then they ended up winning. I, I don't know how many games it was, but they kind of went on a streak too at the end, playing some really good football. If I'm not mistaken, not Green Bay off in the last game. Um, so I mean, I feel, feel like we can be in a similar position to that, just taking that scene that we have this year at the end of the season and then going into next year with the momentum that we have and trying to keep fighting to make something happen. And I think just overall, really, if if that's what's loose, I mean, I feel like all the, the guys would love to can just continue to do what do what we've been doing. And then if it's not, I mean, we all got to figure out ways to adjust. So, I mean, just really overall just wanting to keep the momentum going that we have. It's, it's a crazy thing, Jalen. If you asked two months ago, most people in the media would have guessed everybody's gone. Justin's gone. Yeah. Flus is gone. Luke Getzey's gone. Like, it, blow it all up. But then here you are playing this way, the vibes being like this. And especially if you guys go up to Green Bay, you go out six and two. That Detroit comp that you just made, everybody's going to be making it even more. Everybody, they might be running this back. Your team might be running everything back, and everybody's <laughs> coming back, right? Yeah. That you guys talk about the wild swings of this season amongst yourselves. Oh, I mean, yes and no. I think really for for us, we we knew we knew what we were in the beginning, and we knew what we had in the beginning. And then I think it really just for us it, when we were losing, when we weren't putting it together, it was like, man, we know what we got. We just gotta we just gotta figure it out. We just have to tap into it. And I think just recently we've been tapping into it week after week. And of course, there's always things we can get better, whether it's situations or um, just really staying. Staying in the lead, keeping the lead. I mean, it, it, it's plenty of or small things that we have to continue to learn. But I think just overall, we knew we were a great team. And I mean, especially on defense when we were getting 40 balls put on our head. Like, I mean, we we knew we were a better defense than that. And I think now people are able to see it. And, of course, adding Big Tez, who would only help. But I think just overall, too, we – we knew who we were, and I think now we're able to show that and people are starting to get that hope back. But, I mean, I think overall 
it's really just continuing to be who we know we can be and sticking with that. How's the shoulder? It's good. It's been better. It's been better. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's getting better day by day. Yeah, they said you didn't practice, but I mean, are you are you hoping to play? Expe- are you expecting to play against Green Bay? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay. And yeah, could- yeah. There was a report out there that you might have been able to get back in that game if it was tighter. Was that even thought about towards the end of that game Sunday? I mean, I don't think that was a thing for me. If I could play, I'm gonna play. Okay. Because uh, you've you've had shoulder injuries before. Back to mm-hmm. back to co- like, is it? Is it like a freak, uh, like a freak accident, coincidence, or is it something that's just are are they connected in any way? No, nah, not connected. I mean, I've, like you said, I've had plenty of shoulder surgeries. Both my shoulders are are more than stable and more than fixed as far as lay rooms or dislocations and all that goes. That's that's not a thing. I think I've just had some, honestly, some freak situations, some things I've never experienced since I feel like I've been in the league. As far as I think I didn't, well, not even, I think I know I didn't finish my rookie year um, with a shoulder injury, and that was a freak thing I've never experienced. Um, and then just even now, kind of going through what I'm going through is something I've never um, really experienced. So it really continues to just figure out ways to, I feel like, stay healthy. But I mean, in a contact sport, I mean, both both times I hurt my shoulder, it was on, it was on a big hit. So, I mean, just, I mean, at, at times your body just shut down or doesn't, doesn't bounce back the way that you want it to. So, I mean, just continue to re- rehab, recover, and do what I can to be available. There would be some people that would say, uh, you guys can't make the playoffs, so this mm-hmm. game doesn't mean anything. So, mm-hmm. so sit, rest rest your shoulder. You've got a contract situation this offseason, or guys could be traded or wh- whatever. Like, what do you – what does this game mean to you guys? Because it seems like you're all going to play and you're going to go all out for it. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I thought we got a lot. We got a lot to play for. Um, I think, well, not even I think, there's only one, maybe two people in the building that have beat Green Bay. Um, so with that being said, I think we, we we have a lot to play for. I feel like first and foremost is pride. And I feel like we've been getting our heads beat in by, by Green Bay for a long time. I know it's been all four since I've been in here. And then if I'm not mistaken, 2019, I don't think they beat them. And then I think the last time they may have beat them was 2018, maybe. Yep, and haven't, so, won, I mean, haven't won at Lambeau since 2015. Exactly. So, I mean, we there, there's there's plenty of motivation here for sure. And I mean, especially the way they drug us in the first game. It's not like, oh, there's just a, another team on, on, on the schedule. It's like, no, this is a team that, to me, started our year off um, on a bad foot. And then on top of that, we haven't beat them. So, I mean, there's plenty of things to play for. But I feel like also, again, there's, there's a time and a place I think you want to be smart with certain situations, certain things. But as far as just, oh, well, no big deal. You guys are going to the playoffs. I mean, I don't think that should be the right mindset. Anybody that is healthy and able to play, I feel like should play. And I mean, we got to try to get our get back against them, honestly. So, I mean, that's what all the got to focus on. Yeah, we um, we remember that game week one. That was not a not an enjoyable experience after a very uh, exciting off season filled with optimism. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, thirty eight twenty. And now here we are, week eighteen. I've been quoting you all week, Jalen. I believe when you were asked about playing the Packers and. You having a chance to get back, you said, quote, we're on their ass for sure, unquote. So mm-hmm. what what is what does that mean? Be it being on their ass for sure. Just just <laughs> wanting them badly? Please explain. Please expound. Yeah, I mean, really just being really being a different team. I mean, I feel like for both of us, honestly, just being a different team than we were that first week. But I mean, I know for a fact our defense is a lot better. I can definitely only speaking for for the defensive side. Of the ball, I know just our energy and what we bring to the table now is completely different. I mean, just the for me, just the competitive nature. I mean, I guess the quote of being on the ass is domination. Honestly, just not being a, them not being able to just score and have their way like they did the first game. It definitely is going to be competitive. It's definitely going to be a completely different a different ball game. I mean, I feel like we've been I feel like we've been playing some dominant football these last. Um, these last few games, I mean, of course, even with the turnovers, just creating opportunities for the offense, I think we've just been playing defense at a high level. Um, and we we know what they bring to the table as far as coaching, what Jordan Love has been doing, um, and then just really their run game, their young explosive receivers that they have, and that rotate and come in and do different things. So 
we definitely know what they bring to the table, and I and I think we're going to do a heck of a job when we show up there on Sunday. This could be a big one for Justin too. One, you know, one more big chance to try and impress the mm-hmm. decision makers. You guys conscious of that? Are we conscious of Justin's opportunity? Yeah, but if how you guys could help him out, get get a win. Like this, this could be a, a big moment for the team and for Justin specifically. Um, I mean, I can't say yes or no to that. I think just really overall, just as competitors, we just, we all want to go out there and win. And I mean, of course, he has plenty of motivation. We, as a team, as a defense, has plenty of motivation. As individuals, there should be a whole lot of motivation and things that's driving us to want to go out there on Sunday and really put our best foot forward. And I think us going out there and playing our best ball will give us as a team and guys individually their best chance to to do and have some great things. You are uh, second right now in the public voting for for Pro Bowl, and I believe the rosters are announced tonight. What would that mean to you to make the Pro Bowl? What does that mean to me? It would mean a lot. I mean, that's something that you dream of as a kid. That's something that I grew up watching, grew up seeing guys. And, I mean, even as funny as small as it is, I've never really said this, but even when I go to Bojack's house and we'll hang out or I get a haircut or something and we just kick it, I always walk past his jersey collection. I always see his his Pro Bowl jersey, his Pro Bowl jersey. I'm like, man, I gotta get, I, I gotta get one that says Johnson on it. But I mean, at the end of the day, God willing, it, it'll happen. And I think, I think I have a good, I think I have a good opportunity, man. And I think if, if and when it does happen, I know it, it's nothing but God, and He just been able to bless me and show me that that He has me. And that's the thing I've been preaching and saying this whole this whole entire year that I have nothing to worry about, and that God is going to. Prefer provide for me in any and every way that I need. So, I mean, I'm, I'm confident that I'll be in it and I'm not even confident. I know, I, I know I'm in it and we'll just all wait to see it be announced. So are you going to be watching tonight? Like, is the anticipation like that? Or are you just going to, you know, someone will text you and that's how you'll find out. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, it's funny because somebody told me like they're doing some on like NFL network or yeah. something at like seven o'clock or so. I didn't know anything about it. So, I mean, I was just really going to wait and wait for somebody to tell me, but I, I feel like I'll watch it on there and see. I love that, Bojack, Eddie Jackson. We've all gotten to to learn, some through you, some through uh, other your teammates, how he hosts you guys over there, and you mm-hmm. guys all hang out. You said haircuts, so like he'll bring in a barber, and everybody gets a haircut uh, <laughs> over yeah, there? Yeah, we got, yeah, nah, it, it's funny because his name is D. Like, we all pretty cool, so it's like every, only every Friday, every other Friday, D will come and he'll cut cut our hair. I mean, he'll cut Bojack, me, maybe. I know Justin Jones has pulled up before. D Walk pulled up before. So I mean, definitely whoever. I'm not gonna say whoever needs a cut, but if guys, I was gonna say, can Bojack I come by, get a line? <laughs> yeah, Danny. I don't know if he. I don't know if he cuts. Nah, I was about to say, nah, I don't think anybody can okay. tell him the little Bojack house. But right. I mean, just overall, just really coming and and, and kicking in and hanging out and. Things like that. Jalen, I, I once went into a barbershop in my neighborhood, and I said, hey, can I get a haircut? And the guy looked around. He said, um, the guy who cuts white hair is not here <laughs> right hey, now. It's, like, it's, it's a real a, thing. It's a different skill set, man. I understand. It's real, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the real thing. Cause, I mean, it's not – I think everybody in a sense has a specialty. So I feel like for him, it would have been somewhere it's like he doesn't normally – I would say a white guy's hair, and it's yeah. really just the different, the different hair texture, the, the way it lays, and it seems like you guys comb your hair really. I mean, black people don't comb their hair. Yeah, no, <laughs> we the, brush our hair. So I mean, it's 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 a difference. The way the hair lays, the style, the way you cut it. I mean, I feel like sometimes I see guys with comb overs that all have their hair. <laughs> yeah. like, so that's why yeah, Danny's not invited. Great. That's the only it's reason. The comb. To, yeah, it's just the comb. It's the comb. I, Otherwise, I'd be a great hang. Um, yeah. I wonder. I mean, it's a, a debate. <laughs> All right, so it was a bad question earlier, okay? I apologize for the bad question earlier. Yeah, you're good, man. You're good. I appreciate you. All right, one more about Eddie. This might be your last game with Eddie. NFL's a cutthroat business. How important yeah. has he been to you guys along the way? I mean, I can't. I don't, I don't, I'm going to just be honest for me now that you said it um, like that. I think. I think for me, it's been it's it's been a heck of a journey. I think with Eddie, and I've learned to I've learned to 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 grow and to understand Eddie. And I think really, I think coming in to the league, it was Eddie Jackson, and he had just got paid. Like I, the Eddie Jackson I know now versus Eddie Jackson I knew when I got into the league, I feel like is is two totally different guys. And I think just being able to really grow with him 
as players and stuff on the field. I mean, me and Eddie used to get into it. He used to say, like, just say little Ricky things or you ain't been in it long enough. Da, da, da. That's like, it's always been, always been love and like a certain push. But I think too now just being able to develop a certain chemistry and respect for Eddie, I think it's something that I, I'd always appreciate it if it is our last game, but just always having that. Because, I mean, there's times where, quite honestly, we we do things off script, where there's things that we'll see and I'll look and I'll be like, hey, hey, we're going to do this or we're going to do that. We're going to two-man two this or we're going to do this. Or if he does this and you take it, I'm going to take this or you. So, I mean, just being able to have that chemistry with a safety like that, I can go get the ball that you can be um, in sync with. I think that's a special that's a special thing. And I've been able to get that, I think, really since my second year. And I think, too, he he's learned to trust me as well, being able to go out there and perform and do and play the game at the highest level. So, I mean, just really that. And then also, too, just growing spiritually. I mean, dude, we, we've had plenty of conversations about our relationship with God, just how we can grow closer as men, as men together and just helping each other. We we pray. We started a prayer circle every day after practice. So, I mean, we just – We've just been we we've been in it. We've been through it. I mean, of course, we, it hasn't been too many wins and things like that. But through the adversity, through the good times, I feel like me and Eddie always been solid. So I mean, I feel like if if he was to leave, I think that'd definitely be 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 hard on me. Because I mean, I've I've had a lot of older guys leave, but I think with him leaving, considering the time spent, considering things we've done on and off the field, I think that'd be I think that'd be probably the hardest the hardest move for me. Ooh, got my phone. I think that'll be the hardest move for me, um, honestly. But I think just his presence on the field, I think he's just a guy that brings a lot of confidence to the team, brings a lot of confidence to our defense and to our secondary. So I think if if it is his last one, I know his presence will definitely be missed. That is uh, beautifully put, as always, by Jalen Johnson. And uh, there is no easy way to transition to this. But our Bears reporter, Mark Grody, was on earlier, and he was talking about the social media awards that uh, mm-hmm. were, were given out that – uh, Cairo was the best dancer. Justin was the best, the best singer. I've just been informed, literally uh, within the last sixty seconds, your award was for educating the media on the do rag. That- <laughs> oh yeah, I think it was. Where's my little <laughs> trophy? Oh, it's out, it's out there. But um, I got a little trophy, and I think if I'm not mistaken, it said best like media like interview or something I think it was and I think it was for when I had gave him a little education lesson on like what a how pretty much how to get ways um <laughs> and it's like you had your your hairbrush you have your do-rag and then there was one thing that they didn't know and it was it, it's called a lay down pad I mean I think we we have different textures of hair, like I was mentioning earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, how about that? Brought it full circle. <laughs> I don't think this is really something that you guys can experience, but um, for you, I mean, it kind of just helps lay your hair down. So you brush it, lay it down with the pad, and then you throw the do rag on to continue to lay it down, and you just kind of you just have waves in waves in your hair. It looks like well, congratulations on that award. That must mean <laughs> that must mean a lot to you. That's pretty. No, nah, definitely. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just trying to keep racking up the awards, man. This year, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you got that one today. Maybe Pro Bowl tonight. All Pro yeah. in a couple of weeks. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, I just can't decide. If I can go three for three, man, I'll, I'll be very much so content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would be incredible. Uh, well, listen, man, we're rooting for you tonight. I think it's going to happen, and uh, we appreciate you as always for coming on the show. We'll talk to you after uh, your first win in Green Bay. Yes, sir. I'm going to see you guys soon. All right. We'll talk to you, man. That's Jalen Johnson.